compressed charcoal is a much bigger commitment than vine charcoal because it's a lot tougher to erase. You can definitely take an eraser and lighten areas of compressed charcoal, but you'll never get back to that wide of the page. A lot of people are afraid to use compressed charcoal for this reason. So the trick is, when you first start drawing with the compressed charcoal, you want to press hard enough that you can visibly see the tone, but you don't want to press down to a pure solid black like this, which would be very difficult to erase. Eraser stick, oh my best friend, I love you eraser stick. Greatest tool ever invented for charcoal. I do get the feeling that Timothy's hair, it's fragmenting a little bit. That's the trouble with hair is that I do want to go in and articulate smaller areas, but I also don't want to lose the cohesion. I don't want him to lose his flowy hair. I'm putting my head back because I did feel for a minute that I was cutting up the hair a little bit too much, and I don't want to do that. This is a good time to work on this transition from the scalp into the hair because that area can be very tricky. So actually, let's take some of the kneaded eraser and pull some of these strokes downwards into the forehead. As I spend a lot of time wiping it out multiple times, I mean, it's, it's rare that I would wipe it out fewer than nine times. And I encourage people, you know, let yourself make mistakes, okay? Don't try to be correct the first time. Don't try to make it perfect the first time. And I'm gonna push down a little harder. And this is actually too low too. So I'm gonna move that up. And actually this is also too low. So you can see I'm making mistakes left and right. And you can see what I'm doing here with my finger. I'm not even using an eraser. I'm just taking my finger and doing this. And the reason I can get away with that is because I'm drawing with the charcoal pencil so lightly that I can do that. If you draw like this, you can't do that. And so this, this is a very flexible thing. I guess if I squint, this is the brightest area of light, this area of the hair. I'm gonna pull out some of these highlights. I'm just gonna go in and do a little bit of work on the face, not a huge amount. Charcoal is so good at making black, like you can make black with very little effort. But the flip side of that is that everything turns black and then it's just too dark and you don't want that. I wanna keep that shadow, but I don't want it to be quite so severe because this is really where the darks are. I call it the bulldozer eraser. It, it can just clear out big areas of value. I love this part, it's so fun. And I try to do it in a very blunt manner. You gotta press hard. So cool. And you're trying to block out shapes. So you're doing the bluntest, the biggest shapes, and you're not trying to smudge anything. So the eraser stick is a phenomenal tool. So this is very scribbly, and maybe I'm lazy, but I feel like I would rather do that. Here, there's actually a highlight on the hair, and that comes from the rim lighting. So I might smudge a little here, but I really prefer more of the direct marks. These big chunks, they might feel too dramatic, but they're helping me map out the structure of the hair. And I'm looking for big chunks of black that are coming down like this. Okay, and then I will do a little bit on the face. Pretty dramatic shadow here. Knock in the general direction. Vine charcoal is super easy to erase. You don't even need an eraser. In fact, just a quick wipe of your hand will get rid of it. This is great because you can relax and feel like you can make tons of mistakes on the paper. The trick to using vine charcoal is to not use it for too long. Once you have the initial sketch of the beginning part of your drawing finished, you want to leave the vine charcoal behind and move on to the compressed charcoal. Vine charcoal definitely has its own special talents, but beware of its limitations as well. Be loose, you know, don't be afraid to let your eraser stick dance around the page a little bit. There's a lot of highlight in here, so I'm gonna just really dig in with the eraser stick like this. I'm gonna remove a lot of cross hatching over here on this side, because there's a huge, gigantic patch, actually, of highlight. This whole area here is actually probably one of the brighter areas in the entire drawing. Start pulling out 
some of these strokes and varying also the pressure. If I start up here and there's this pretty dramatic curl and it comes up like this, I'm decreasing the pressure. So here I'm pressing dark, now I'm pressing dark, and now I'm going lighter and lighter. So change the pressure of that hair. So variation in line weight and pressure, all those things are gonna make a huge difference for you guys when you're drawing the hair.